How week did you start out? Uh, sluggish, I think. Uh, got off to, we try to do kind of a little extra tempo setter to get the, whatever, Easter gravy out of out of our system. Um, and once once we did that, it was it was it was good. We competed hard in the, in the middle and toward the end, but I got off to a little bit of a sluggish start, which obviously can't happen. And part of that is a byproduct of two days off, the holiday, all that stuff, which are all excuses. Um, but when, again, once we got going, got, got going pretty pretty well. When you're going to the spring, are you adding things or doing different? Or are you kind of through 15? Do you want to? I mean, are you advancing and doing more as it goes along, or are you kind of doing the same thing through the five weeks? No, through about practice 10. We'll have installation, you know, and so that that's the biggest thing right now is that especially with the young guys is they they kind of get something and sort of check it off their list and then it, it, it might come back up two practices later and they forget or, or whatever and that's just kind of the, the mental toughness that you have to, to get through and uh, some of these guys being scout team guys for the first time whether it's on special teams or, or you know we don't we don't really do uh, scout team O and D in spring but just of, of uh, you know, again, we have a bunch of young wideouts, a bunch of young uh, secondary guys that are playing scout team for the first time, and, and just getting them to, to understand that's you know vital. Um, but one, again, once once they got going today, it was good. Being back in pads, do you see any extra sense of you know physicality out there on the field? Sure, hope so. You know, we don't want too much of a difference speed-wise when we're uh, padded, um, and so we just need to learn again. How to, how to practice and stay up and take care of each other. And we had a couple uh, you know, full, uh, full speed kind of things today and a couple at the end of last week. And so got a little of that going. Week one go, kind of how you wanted it, how you envisioned or how it um, it, was, it was good. Uh, you know, I don't, I, you never know really exactly how, how things are going to go. Uh, I thought Jeff Lockie practiced really well. I'm um, looking back at all the film. Um, you know, Competition at wideout is good. The competition in the secondary is good. The guys are banging up front pretty well. Um, and then, you know, it's just become such a mental battle to, to fight through a mistake and fight through the, the newness of, of things for some guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, so far so good. All right. All right. Tyler Johnstone, you know, what does he mean to the offensive line this year? Do you expect him to be a leader out there without you know, guys like Burns? Absolutely. Uh, Tyler's, Tyler's been awesome. I think uh, you know, he's one of our most vocal guys and, and really was, uh, other than other than Hironis, one of the best leaders on the offensive line before he you know had the had the nick. And he, he, but he's done a great job uh, both this winter and this spring of, of leading uh, vocally. You never, you ever, it's never hard to hear Tyler out there. But he's he's great. He's a great teammate, uh, and trying to get Defoe to do the same defensively. Guys, freshman who signed early and coming in, you got a handful of those guys, you know, mm -hmm. Alex and guys like that. What have you just kind of seen through four practices? Their first four practices. Yeah, they're, they're competing. You know, in a nutshell, uh, Ugo is really athletic, uh, really athletic, and has 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 flashed both defensively and in special teams as a guy that that uh, is a really good football player. Um, and, and then the rest of those guys are just battling. You know, some guys, uh, Alex, Alex is a competitive guy. Reminds me a ton of Jalen Brown in a lot of ways, and Jalen's practicing much faster now than he did when he first got here, which is encouraging, obviously, what you, you, know, what you want to see. Um, but, yeah, I'm really excited about all those guys uh, right now. Rob tweeted that Vernon Adams is here. What can you and can't do with him when he's on campus? Well, just at this point, he's an unsigned guy. Is you know you can't you can't uh, can't practice or anything like that. Um, but he can be around just like any other other guy, off you know unofficial visit type temperament. Uh,